Here at home, those with family and friends in Ukraine are filled with worry as they try to connect to their loved ones. Amani Abraham spoke to a Cleveland woman who shares her struggles waiting for news about them. The sights and sounds of war. It's honestly been a nightmare for all of us. Natalia Petrov was born in Ukraine, but moved here to Cleveland with her family at 10 years old. What's unfolding in her homeland has left her worried and scared. Some of her family and friends are still in the country. I get to talk to them right now, at least, and I have, I can, you know, have contact with them for now, which is at least, like, giving me a peace of mind, but, um, Overall, it's been just horrible. The worst few days of my life, I think. Petrov has spent hours on the phone every day searching for new information and checking in with family to make sure they're okay. She's also offered to help as some are in need of money to help leave the country. One of my best friends, I just sent her money yesterday to be able to cross the Polish border with her baby, she's one, and she had to leave her husband behind. She says she would give everything she has to keep her family and friends safe. I don't think it's selfless, it's family and it's my country and I would never, I, I don't care about, none of this matters if, you know, you don't, like I don't care about anything else at this point. She's not alone. Voices here are growing, with protests being held across the country. Going to gatherings and protests and trying to speak up and stand up for um, my country. Petrov plans to head to D.C. this weekend for a planned protest. She's hoping to raise awareness to what's happening and also to offer help in any way she can to help friends, family, and, of course, neighbors in Ukraine. Amani Abraham, 3 News. Amani, thank you. Of course, we are thinking of her loved ones there.